Hi, hello, and welcome everybody to New Haven Recharged. I'm Chad Cooper. And I'm Margaret Mattire, and let's take a look at last week's highlights. Women's lacrosse down on Long Island, taking on number one Adelphi. First half action, New Haven down 4-2. Catherine Campbell comes from behind the net and scores, slicing the lead to one at halftime. Early in the second half, Panthers on the attack, and Alyssa Giannotti makes one of her 14 saves on the afternoon. A few minutes later off the free position run, Caitlin O'Brien nets her third goal of the game to put New Haven on top 5-4. Giannotti coming up big again, this time off the free position run. She makes another save to preserve the Chargers lead. New Haven would score seven unanswered goals en route to snapping Adelphi's 36-game winning streak and picking up the first victory against the Panthers in program history. Softball ended their season last week taking on St. Rose. Softball wrapping up their regular season, taking on St. Rose. Nicole King firing early on as she strikes out the side in the first, getting two batters swinging. She would retire the first 14 batters in a row, getting eight of them on strikes. The offense picking up in the fourth, Jem Palacy leading off the inning, drives it into left center field for the double, and then was sacrificed by third by Christine Liptak. Gilly Childs comes up and rifles the ball off the glove of the pitcher, scoring Palacy, making it 1-0 New Haven. In the fifth, Tori Sheeby on first, and Victoria Cabral drills the ball into right center field. Sheeby gets waved around third and will score as Cabral rolls into second with a double. Then in the sixth, Chargers up 3-1, Aaron Stever on first, and Courtney Reed laces a ball down the right field line that kicks away from the outfielder. Stever scores, and Reed rolls into third with the triple. New Haven goes on to take two out of three on the weekend from St. Rose. In addition, two members of the softball team were recognized by the Northeast 10. King was named Northeast 10 second team all conference performer on Tuesday. For the season, she was 8 and 7 with a 2.85 ERA and struck out 131 batters in 103 innings. It is the second time King has earned all conference accolades after being chosen as a third team member last year. Jen Palacy was also named a second team all conference performer. Palacy hit 321 this season with four doubles and a team leading three triples. She finished the season with 22 career steals, five shy of cracking the New Haven top 10. After competing at the Penn Relays, track and field made the trip over to Yale for the Springtime Invitational. Brianna Conyers won the triple jump with an NCAA provisional qualifying mark of 12.61 meters. Ada Udaya won the 102 meter dashes at the meet. On the men's side, Courtney Mashoud won the 100-meter dash in a time of 10.73 seconds. New Haven is in action next at the Northeast 10 Conference Championships this weekend. Baseball had a busy week playing five times. Baseball went 4-1 this past week, including taking two of three from LeMoyne during the weekend. TJ Riccio hit 500 for the week with five RBI, and Tom Walraven hit 409 with a double and a triple. Brian Caselli pitched in three games, striking out 11 batters in nine innings of work. That's going to do it for us this week. We'd like to thank everybody for watching. For everyone involved in Recharged, I'm Chad Cooper. And I'm Margaret Mattire, and check us out at newhavenchargers.com. <laughs>